We cover a lot of tips and tricks and stuff on this channel, like AirPods, iPhones, Apple Watch, and other electronics. But we never really go into the vehicle aspect of things, as modern day cars are equipped with a lot of interesting hidden features and such and such you could find in like the menu and all that good stuff. And so in today's video, we're gonna go ahead and start making car videos time to time and going over some tips and tricks about the majority of vehicles. And what better way to start off this series by going over a personal vehicle that I picked up about two years ago. So I bought a 2017 Ford F-150 Raptor. It's equipped with all the bells and whistles as this does have the 802A package. And so if you're in the market for one or you currently own one, or you're just buying a general F-150, these tips and tricks should also apply. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing I recommend everybody to at least be aware of is the ability to replace the transmission temperature on your display with the turbo gauge. If your truck is equipped with a turbo, you can swap this with the turbo gauge by just going in this menu and just navigate here. And there you go. That's how you can swap it. So you can actually see the boost. In the back seats, if your truck has the Super Crew, you can actually reach below right behind here and this will unveil a hidden compartment. And not only are you able to store small stuff here and there, this is also where you could find the sound system depending on the setup that your truck came equipped with. So if you wanna, so if you're wondering where the amplifier and the subwoofer is located, it's gonna be right here. Now your F-150 may also have the automatic window roll down feature on the key fob, which you could activate by simply just doing this with your remote and it'll roll down your windows. Unfortunately, it doesn't roll them all the way up. That you have to go inside and roll them up manually. This is perfect to do in those hot sunny days. And then of course you got the remote start, which activates by locking the vehicle, pressing on it twice, auto remote start button on the controller. Valet mode is also a thing on the second generation Raptor, which you could go in ahead and enable by simply going in here, going in here, tap on this, and this is where you find valet mode. Now, depending on the year your Raptor was made, from my understanding, the 2017 and mid 2018's F-150 Raptors still had the ambient color option which means the lights that you see here can be changed into these different colors. For some reason, Ford decided later on down the line to remove this, but whatever the case may be, if your truck actually has this, to change the ambient mode colors, you can simply just go into the setting tab right here on your menu and go where you see ambient lights. And right here, you'll have a selection of the colors that are available to be swapped. Other nifty things you could do in the infotainment system is the pin code on the side of the door right here on the driver's side to a different pin code if you're not satisfied with the one that your vehicle was automatically equipped with. So to do that, just simply navigate the menu, go into here, click on here. Here is where you can actually change the pin. And there you go. Now that pin code is changed to the pin code that you want. And if you want to leave your key inside your truck, not only can you store it inside the center console and actually lock it, and just take out this little valet part with you. But you may have noticed that the truck will not lock if it detects that the key fob is inside. There's a way you could overwrite this by simply leaving the key fob inside your vehicle and just tapping the lower two buttons like so. This will lock the truck with the key fob inside and to enter it, simply just enter the pin code that you created or the one that the vehicle was left with by default. Another cool tip about the F-150 Raptor or any Sync 3 system really, is if you use Apple CarPlay or even Android Auto, if the navigation voice assistant is really loud or really low, as soon as the voice assistant starts talking, if you quickly rotate the volume knob, that will actually adjust the audio of the navigation. As you can see, it says prompt audio. In other words, the turn-by-turn -turn direction is the audio that you're adjusting, not the music. Now, if your truck is equipped with the full 360 cameras, then you know the windshield wiper washer system also will spray the front camera. So you can see clearly if it gets muddy or something. Now the Ford app is free to download. It's a free service. This allows you to not just only remote start the truck, lock or unlock and see other information like, like the oil life remaining and all that good stuff, even the tire PSI. You can monitor all that on your smartphone. But if you have an Apple Watch, you could also remote start it or lock the vehicle all off your wrist. Now, it will happen once in a while. If the infotainment system, for whatever said reason, acts funny, just doesn't go on, like just gives you a black screen, usually this happens once every three months. Instead of turning off the truck and turning it back on while you're driving, if you actually press and hold the power button or the volume knob and the right arrow, 
for a couple of seconds, this will basically force the unit to reset. So it will fix whatever bug you were experiencing. In addition to that, if you want to find an Easter egg by simply holding down the arrow, the right arrow on the steering wheel and the right arrow on the infotainment system right here, this will actually take you into the developer mode. In here, you can do a bunch of fun stuff, including change the wallpaper theme of your Sync 3 system. Unfortunately, this is not permanent because as soon as you turn off the truck, it's gonna reboot and go back to the regular stock theme that your truck came equipped with. This is just a little fun Easter egg. Now, if your key fob is dead, don't panic if your truck is equipped with push to start. With the dead key fob in the center console where the cup holders are, you could lift this little plastic cover. You'll see a little slot right here. You could insert the key right there and it'll use NFC to detect the key is in place and will still start the vehicle. So if you have a dead battery in your key fob, you're not left stranded. That's the second way you could turn on your pickup. And then these little guys right above here, if you're wondering what these holes are, these are actually like motion sensors. So when the vehicle's alarm is enabled, if it detects movement from like a windshield shatter or somebody suspiciously just hiding in the back seat while the vehicle is locked, this will actually trigger the motion sensor, which are these two, and will sound the alarm. You could disable this by, as soon as you turn off the truck, where it says alarm, you can use the arrows to select if you want all sensors or if you want the sensors. This one will basically disable the motion sensors, but I like to personally leave it on all sensors. The previous person that drove the pickup truck, as soon as I hit unlock, it will adjust everything automatically, including the mirrors, steering wheel, brake and gas pedals, and most importantly, the seats. So to set this up is really easy. So we're just gonna go use number three as a fine example. So as soon as I press three, everything moves in position, right? But now I'm not comfortable with the same position. So if I move everything to my preference, I'll just leave it like this for now to make the video go by faster, including the pedal positions and of course the mirrors. If I hold it for a couple seconds, there's one beep. There's three beeps and just hit lock. And now when I unlock this vehicle, so if I move this seat and I hit unlock, it, everything literally just moved to that position for the key fob. Now, if you're not a fan of the auto engine start, if you switch this to sport mode, this will disable that, but will also give you a more aggressive transmission shift and the truck itself since it's in sport mode it's going to hold the rpms a little bit longer so instead of constantly pressing on the uh, disable auto engine start each and every time you get in your truck just set it in sport mode and you don't have to do that anymore and back to the ambient light whatever doors open up the ambient light will always automatically switch to red so oncoming traffic can visually spot that the door is open so yeah, whatever color you leave the ambient mode, as soon as that door opens up, it's gonna be automatically switched to red, unless the color that you selected was red to begin with. Now the paddle shifters on the Raptor, if you just leave it on drive, the paddles will not engage, but there's some cool tricks you can do with the paddle shifters, even on automatic mode. For example, if you wanna see the 10 speed gears, like the gear number that you're in, by tapping the right paddle shifter, this will actually enable, enable it so you can see what gear you're in. In addition to that, if you tap it again, you'll hide it. But if you engage it where you can see it and you hit the left paddle shifter, you could actually disable some of these gears. So if you don't want to utilize all 10 gears of your 10 speed transmission, you can just tap the left paddle shifter. It will disable one and it will just continue disabling them and disable all the other gears. You could easily do so as it will hold it in place. And lastly, do not remove these side steps. If you plan on doing serious off-roading, the side steps actually act as protection. As all the loose gravel and dirt that the tires pick up, the side steps prevent that from making contact to the wide fenders on the rear. So if you remove these and put those automatic steppers and you do a lot of serious off-roads, all those rocks are gonna start chipping the fenders. So just a heads up if you're planning on removing them. If you got some good useful information or just found this video in general useful and entertaining to learn some new things about the Raptor, greatly appreciate if you actually leave this video a like 
But now that, make sure you get subscribed as this is going to be a new series that's going to be introduced on the channel for the vehicle aspect of things. I have done one previously on the Ford Mustang. So if you want to know some cool tips and tricks that, that the current generation Mustang has to offer, feel free to go ahead and watch this video over here. And then the video right next to that one, that's just another video that YouTube is recommending specifically for you. Thanks so much for watching. Take care and I'll catch you all in the next one. See ya.